Cancer is scary. Everyone has heard of it, but no one knows about it. It is something that most people worry about at some point. Many people have questions about does cancer means end to your life? How cancer can kill you? So what is cancer? Why it is serious and how it can be scary? And if you have it, does it means it's the end of your life? Let's know about it. Cancer is like a thief silently growing in our bodies. Imagine cells in our body as a well-behaved family is playing its part. They are like that one family member who decides to break all the rules. They start multiplying uncontrollably, refusing to listen to the body's signals. These rogue cells form a lump called tumor. Some tumors are kind and stable, we call them benign, but others, the cancerous ones are like unruly invaders and we call that malignant. They spread to other parts of the body, disrupting the normal functioning of our organs. This spread, known as metastasis, is what makes cancer so dangerous. As these rogue cells multiply, they start affecting the normal functioning of our body. They can interfere with our blood supply, our ability to fight infections, and even our ability to think clearly. This is why cancer can manifest in so many different ways, causing a wide range of symptoms. The good news is, we are not powerless against cancers. With our early detection, early diagnosis, lifestyle changes, and advancement in medical treatment, we can fight back and increase the chances of survival. It's a battle, but one that can win. Nowadays, there are five most common cancers that are being exposed to most of the population. The most common is breast cancer, then lung cancer, then prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, and then blood cancer. If you distinguish in between men and women, most common cancers in men are prostate cancer, lung cancer, colorectal cancer, bladder cancer, and pancreatic cancer. And among women, that's breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and next is cervical cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, melanoma, that is skin cancer, and non Hodgkin lymphoma, that means blood cancer. So, why do some people get cancer while others don't? What are the risk factors associated with it? It's a question that haunts many. While there are no sing single answer, several factors can increase our risk. Like our age, that is a big one. As you grow older, our body's defense mechanism weaken, making us more susceptible to disease like cancer. Our lifestyle choices also play a crucial role. Smoking, for example, is like inviting cancer into our lungs, significantly increasing the risk of lung cancer. So, smoking is a risk factor, just like age. Our diet is another important factor. A diet rich in processed food, red meat, unhealthy fats can fuel the growth of cancer cells. On the other hand, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains act like a shield, protecting us from direct disease. It can increase our immunity and it can help in ourselves. So, next there is family history. If our parents or siblings have had cancer, our risk of developing the disease increases. This doesn't mean we are destined to get cancer, but it's a red flag. That means we can have cancer as like our parents. So it's urging us to be more vigilant and proactive about our health. So mutation or genetic modification or genetic changes can lead to cancer. Our genes, that are those are the blueprints of our bodies, these hold the key to many secrets including susceptibility to cancer. Sometimes these genes undergo changes called mutations. Imagine these mutations as typos in our body's instruction manually leading to errors in cell production. These mutations can be inherited from our parents, increasing our risk of certain cancer from birth. That means if our parents have cancer, so that gene can transport to ourselves and we can also have the cancer. So they can develop over our lifetime. It, it may take some time due to exposure to cancer causing agents like tobacco, tobacco smoke, radiation or certain chemicals. These mutations can disrupt the normal life cycle of cells, causing them to grow and divide uncontrollably, leading to cancer. Certain gene mutations are linked to specific cancers. For example, mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are known to increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Genetic testing can help identify these mutations, allowing individuals to take preventive measures or offer early detection and treatment. However, it's important to remember that having a gene mutation doesn't guarantee cancer. 
इट सिंपली मीन्स ए हायर रिस्क अर्जिंग अस टू बी मोर प्रोटेक्टिव मोर प्रोएक्टिव एवर्ड हेल्थ सो इफ यू हैव कैंसर हाउ टू डील विथ इट वाट शुड बी द डायग्नोसिस प्रोसीजर डायग्नोसिंग कैंसर इज लाइक सॉल्विंग ए कॉम्प्लेक्स पर्जल डॉक्टर्स यूज वेरियस टूल्स टेक्निक्स टू पीस टू गेदर द क्लूज एंड कन्फर्म द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस डिजीज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ऑफन ए फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन दैट मीन्स यू मस्ट एग्जामिन फिजिकली योर सेल्फ और बाई अ डॉक्टर और बाई योर सेल्फ वेर द डॉक्टर फील्स फॉर एनी लम्स और एबनॉर्मेलिटीज इन योर बॉडी ब्लड टेस्ट कैन ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड वैटल इन्फॉर्मेशन रिविलिंग टेल टेल साइंस ऑफ कैंसर इन योर बॉडी दैट मीन्स यू कैन डू कम्प्लीट ब्लड ब्लड कम टेस्ट लिवर फंक्शन टेस्ट देन यू कैन डू रिनल फंक्शन टेस्ट कोगुलेशन प्रोफाइल ऑफ ब्लड एंड द मेन एंड मोस्ट डायग्नोस्टिक इज अ टीमर मार्कर इट कैन स्पेसिफाई द टाइप ऑफ कैंसर यू आर हैविंग एंड After that, imaginative techniques like X-rays, CT scans, and MRIs. This allow doctors to peek inside our bodies, creating detailed images of our organs and tissues to detect any suspicious growth. That means, particularly, it will mainly localize the tumor where it is invading, where it is being situated. If a suspicious growth is detected, a biopsy is often the next step. It this involves removing a small sample of tissue and examining it under a microscope to confirm the presence of cancer cells. That means blood test. Then you can do imaging techniques like CT scan, MRI, and then you can go for a biopsy. And once diagnosed, the treatment plan depends on several factors. The first of all, you will have the staging of a cancer. If it is in the early stage, it will be treated. Treated. If it is progressed to Late stage, then it may, might or might not get treated. But it includes the type and stage of cancer, the patient's overall health, and their preferences. If the patient want to treat themselves, then they can be treated. Surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy are some common treatment modalities. Surgery involving removing the cancerous tumor, while radiation therapy uses high energy rays to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy, on the other hand, uses drugs to destroy cancer cells, cancer cells throughout the body. but if the treatment fails or you didn't get treated on time there may be organ failure severe infection will be occur that will spread to all over the body the abnormal growth may cause obstruction compromising the normal functioning of the body cataxia will be seen your weight will be decreased you will look thin there will be bone marrow suppression treatment may fail so this all may lead to death of the patient so it's better to be aware and start the treatment as early as possible and early treatment early diagnosis and treatment is the key to the treatment of cancer prevention of our betterment before time runs out but remember even though cancer can lead to death it's not necessarily cancer that causes someone to die awareness is highly important and helpful that's all about cancer thank you for watching guys thank you all